You know, one of the advantages of playing Twilight Princess on alternate days to this game is when I'm playing that, it's on the Wii U, and I have a Pro Controller or a gamepad. Mario, I'm telling a story. Don't you yawn. You can sit down, but that's the limit, okay? Uh, basically stuff you can charge. We have a little cable. That's wonderful. It's very nice. Uh, you can get chargers for a Wii Remote as I shake it and Mario gets up violently. Uh, you can get chargers for Wii Remotes, but I, I use batteries, and I've just spent, like, 35 minutes trying to find some batteries that are full enough that I can use them to power my Wiimote and that is that is a, a substantial amount of time and I don't appreciate it. Now, by the way, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. My name is Rabbit Luigi. You'll notice in the top left. At the end of the last episode, I had 116 stars and we had four left to go to complete the game. We're going to try and do that this episode. I accidentally, not really accidentally, I... My computer didn't have a, a uh, my laptop didn't have the charger plugged in when I was doing the first seven minutes of the recording. So I've accidentally got the Cosmic Mario Star. I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna do it, because uh, I have to. I accidentally got the Cosmic Mario Star at Gold Leaf. It was here, it was a Cosmic Comet. We're gonna do it now, which is wonderful. You get to see me replay a level and get to see what happens when I replay a level. But yeah, after like seven minutes, my computer, my laptop ran out of battery because it wasn't plugged in and apparently it wasn't plugged in for the previous episode either. So hopefully no problems with the footage for anything. I'm not sure how well my, my, my laptop records footage when it's got, is when it's running on battery power, but hopefully it should be fine. It looks fine now. If not, we'll have to record the whole of the last episode again, and that'll be really annoying. I'm, I'm sure I would have talked about it. That's what I wanted to do. I was trying to do that for most of last, well, most of the seven minutes, which you're not going to see, and I was fucking up royally. Uh, it does mean that we are miles ahead of Cosmic Mario, like miles ahead, even further ahead than when I did this previously. Uh, so it's not really the hardest uh, Cosmic, not Cosmic. It's not really the hardest. Comet, really, Cosmic Mario. I can see what they were trying to do, but it doesn't really uh, match up much to the Daredevil or some of the harder purple coins. It's not really in the same league. Have a look at our shiny crystal star. We'll presume it's crystal and not like uh, a transparent star. Transparent star doesn't sound as grand as the crystal star, yes! They're not really the same. Doesn't add anything to our total, it's just me replaying a level I've already done! Now then, what I was doing before my computer died, maybe we'll have more stars available to us now we've done that. Uh, we got the- oh no. I kind of have to do it though, I have to do it now, because if I do the gold leaf thing, it'll fuck it up, I know. Oh, I was doing the gold leaf uh, secret star, which is nice and short and easy. This is all the opposite things. Oh, why? Oh, it hurts. It hurts my soul. Should I speed this up? I mean... We've only got three more stars. Oh god, look at this nonsense. We've only got three more stars left to go. I feel like I shouldn't. How linear is this? It looks reasonably linear, but... Uh, I don't want to complain too much. People are enjoying this for... Oh, people are watching this for for somebody's enjoyment. Not Well, how, how, many, how many videos on YouTube are, are watched to see someone having fun or just having their face pounded in by the pavement? I don't know. I would like, like a, a survey to be carried out. Do you enjoy, A, um, someone being uh, humiliated in, in a YouTube video, or B, someone having a wonderful time where everything goes as planned and that you can see the joy in their face and it, or in their voice or in anything like that? You know, because I, I feel like it'd be more the, the first one. People want shocking stuff or, or weird, weird and wonderful stuff that they wouldn't see otherwise. I want this coin. Thank you for the coin. I'm very glad the cloud stayed in one place. Just about long enough for me to get that coin. Fantastic. Uh, this is slow. I, I'm... <laughs> I, I should speed it up. I really should, but I haven't really showed too many purple coin mission. Oh no. Too many purple coin missions in this game anyway. So I, I feel like I should do one at normal speed. The problem is, the one I'm doing at normal speed is really fucking boring. I, I may speed up. Okay, I'll get to 50. I'll get to 50, then I'll speed it up. Is everybody happy with that? Because that, that seems like the best idea for the moment. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll reevaluate that as we get closer to 50 and the eight minutes that have passed since I made that bold statement that we would speed up or if we die. If we die, I'll, I'll do it all uh, sped up from there or something. I, I just want to do... I, I am really... I, I have enjoyed this Let's Play a whole lot and I hope you have as well, but I, you know... 
This is not the way I want it to end. This is just slow and slightly lethargic and it makes me feel slow. It makes me feel old and not in like a, you know, 10 years ago today this game came out and it was your favorite game. 2006. What came out in 2006? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I, that's fine. There's a, there's a bee mushroom somewhere. Around here somewhere. That's fine. My, 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 my phone's gone to sleep because I've been doing the same level for longer than it wants to open the phone. I need to know how long I've been going on for five minutes. That's way too long. Way too long. Mm. But yeah. As in I feel old because I feel myself aging. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, wait, we're not speeding this up. I was I was in a moment. I was in a zen. I was in a happy, happy place where I was just, you know, collecting coins and thinking about the life choices that have led me to this moment and thinking, how could I have done things better? I should have stayed in school. I did stay in school, by the way, just for just for the record. But, you know, I, I could have I could have done more of myself. So that I, I've done. Oh, that was not going to work. Don't fall off the edge. Uh, I need a way of getting up there. How? How's it gonna happen? I want to get to 50 and then we can speed through and then, you know, it's a good compromise, I feel. Because, I'm, it, it, you know, getting to 50 is probably the length of an ordinary purple coin mission or something. I am, I am unsure, but, you know, I'm running out of things to say. Other than, you know, accelerated aging is kind of what this is giving me. Metal Gear Solid 4. Was it Fox Die? I forget. That that game that game has got a confusing plot in many different ways. But uh, even even when you stay on top of a game that has a complete confusing plot and you think you know, you think you know everything. As soon as you as soon as you kind of go away for a while and don't think about it for a, a reasonable amount of time, it, you you the knowledge slips and you think, is that really how it goes? I don't really remember. I've thought about. I've slept at least once since then. What? How does that game? What does that game have? I need to get these. If, if there's four here, that'd be perfect for speeding it up. It really would be. Really would. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing. I need that. I need it. I, oh, I need it. And then we just want to. There's a cloud in the way, but that's fine. We're just going to drop down. No, we want to drop down. There we go. Fantastic. But as I was saying before I was interrupted by my own incompetence, the idea that even if you understand everything about a game's story, or really it can, you can apply that to anything, any, any book, movie, TV show, which has a slightly complicated plot, or something you have to think twice about, as soon as you go away and do something else, you, there is the tendency for the knowledge just to slip. You know, Bioshock Infinite's ending, or just Bioshock Infinite in, in general, don't don't try and explain the story in the comment section through, through spoilers. I, I love that game, but you know, some people haven't played it, and it's a really good game, so don't, don't, say nothing, say nothing. But that, that game has a, has an ending where, where many things happen, and I, I remember most of them. I remember most of them, I can't remember, I remember most of the events, but I don't really remember too well what they sing, uh, signify. We're at 59, what did that say? So how many I've got? I've got loads. Thank you for finding purple coins. We're at 59 coins. I'm going to speed the rest of this shit up. I feel very old right now. I need to talk about my pension and why the government isn't paying me my appropriate pension. The star has spawned all the way, literally on the, literally on the other side of the map. And on top of all that, it's not the easiest star to get through. Yeah, not the easiest star to get to, rather. You gotta go all the way up to the top of this. Seriously? Why? Why can't you just put it somewhere helpful? Somewhere nice and calm and uh, this is gonna go up, so why am I- wh why am I- why am I trying to expedite the process when it will do it for me? This is a- this is a crazy place to put a star, don't you think? Just a little bit. Highest point probably in the whole level. I want this, I do. So I can just sweep it under the rug and say we've done it. There we go. Okay, the rest of this game is easy, guys. Really easy, very exciting, very high octane. And the good thing is, I've kind of done this in an interesting way. The rest of the stars in the game actually go uh, normal star, or rather secret star, and then comet. Which means we shouldn't have to worry about going to the, the, the comet luma on the ground level of the observatory and having to talk to that and uh, give it some purple fucking... Give it some uh, star bits to actually move some comets. Hopefully, by the time we have this star done, we will have a purple comet to do in Dreadnought, and that is fucking crazy, so we've got that to look forward to. It is in this one. I know where this is. I was actually looking up where this is in the episode, in a cut, cut between bits in the episode, when my computer ran out of battery. 
And when I realized it was actually unplugged, so good for me. Uh, we can just skip through most of this. I was saying that these look like something you'd find in cereal and, you know, you, you, okay. Cereal doesn't usually fight back. Cereal is a very, relatively calm and uh, ever-loving uh, breakfast, way of having breakfast. You just, cereal, cereal loves you as much as you love cereal, basically, is what I'm trying to say. We need to go over here. There is something of significance over here, and I need to remember where exactly the something of significance is. It's over here somewhere. Uh, this is important there. We need the bubble. Give me that bubble so we can do this. This is uh, a little bit interesting. We need uh, do that. Yep, yeah, I can shake it with my with my cursor. We need these notes. These notes are of severe importance. Oh, that's a bit too quick. Going a bit too fast for the for the swimming theme. Uh, down, up, right. DDR, 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 oh, no, this is a very fast swimming theme, this is the speedy up swimming theme, gotta go not that massively quick, but I'll go as quick as I damn well please, there we go, <laughs> fantastic, so that's, that's, that's all but one, uh, just get the star, get the fantastic, all but one, we have left ourselves a nice open, Slightly exposed position where we've got like nine minutes. I don't know how much time I'm gonna put aside for the purple coin Comet mission in the fucking uh, I've, I know what, I've forgotten the name of the level right now the the bowl the the water thing We did just just now thing we did just now, okay? Don't know how much time I'm gonna put aside to that, but I don't really care because now The final curtain is is here. Oh, there is another episode but after this by the way at least there should be because there's a few things that I don't think we would have enough time to really show off that I would like to show off. This is one of the hardest stars. I, honestly, I don't think this is historically known as one of the hardest stars in the game. So, <laughs> well, take, take from that what you will. But the purple coins in the Dreadnought Galaxy are quite difficult, okay? I wouldn't say massively difficult. I, I honestly wouldn't say it's one of the hardest stars in the game. I haven't even checked if I can go here yet, but I'm assuming I can. Can we? We can. Fantastic. I judge that pretty fucking brilliantly. If I must say so myself. Absolutely. Now then. All the fun stops here. The final star in the game is when we get there. Battle stations, purple coins. This took me... You know, quite a while when I did this the first time. I don't think it was the last one I ever had to do, but this is a rather ruthless purple coin mission. I'm not going to speed any of this up because it's the last star we have to get. It is kind of crazy, though. It is kind of very crazy. Not, 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 not too difficult. The only problem is I think we can get more of these if we miss them. But only if we actually manage to get back to some kind of checkpoints. And this has no gravity on it. it, it well, it does have gravity on it. It doesn't have any gravity on the underside. So, oh, what was what happened there? I would, I skidded on a little bit there. Is that the nunchuck? Nunchuck, please! The pink nunchuck, be kind to me. I skidded on a little bit too much. But when we get into circumstances like these, where we have to ke collect purple coins upside down and at like a 90 degree angle, you know, that's where this level becomes slightly more like bullshit. Slightly more like bullshit. It is kind of like bullshit already. We're doing reasonably okay. I may put in every time what I may put in every single time I attempt this because you know we're right at the end. My my control stick. It doesn't feel broken. I I, I know what a broken control stick feels like, and you know that that wasn't particularly pleasant. That was very nicely executed, if I must say so. But uh, it feels. I don't know, it feels not quite as responsive as it has been, and that is concerning in a in a special kind of way. Now then, how are we doing? Not too bad. 58 in like, you know, not not that long. If you compare it to the the beat the sl the the what I've forgotten the name of the level. The of the other purple coin mission we did this episode. I, I it's been wiped from my memory. That's literally what I've done. 69 coins. That is fantastic. Get a running jump, because I think we have to be not so quick. Maybe the next one. Also the also, the shots that are being firing across the bowels at us are very terrifying, especially here, because I, I died a few times here on the actual mission. So, you know, lots of things to think about and lots of things to try not to die to, of which many might be self-inflicted, but I think... I don't want to say we're in the clear. I don't even want to think about saying that we're in the clear, but we're doing very well, must be said. Can we just... I forget really the the path back. Okay, okay, that was that was a little too close, but that's fine. We've made it to the to the safe haven thing. There's also a little star down there. Interesting Easter egg. You can go through this mission without collecting a single purple coin. Not sure why you'd want to, because I don't want to. 
because you know what it's just done. You you did it. Wow, you really worked for it. Frankly, this is the perfect uh, the, the perfect star to get for the last time. I don't really know what that means, but <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I don't give a shit. Fantastic. We're right back here. Look how many stars I have. You know what this does, right? I'm pretty sure you do, everyone knows what it does. 120 stars, that is quite a lot of stars. I hope that previous episode went okay from a from a frame rate perspective. That's usually what happens when I, uh, you have enough star power. I don't really want to do a voice because I can't be bothered to go to another world before you help your special one. I've got to defeat Bowser to fight. that's fantastic. I forgot about that. I've got to fight Bowser again. That actually gives me an opportunity. Weirdly, this is probably the finale then. We'll make the whatever we're doing next the bonus episode. This is the finale. This is the end. Oh god, can we skip this? I we can. Fantastic. I'm going to meet you probably at the end of this, I guess. And so you join me on the final part of the Bowser fight. Sadly, on the in the build up to this fight, there are a load of like little cutscenes. You can skip the big cutscene as as Rosalina does her stuff, but you you can't skip all the little ones afterwards where where Bowser talks about how amazing he is and how Bowser Jr. be you know is more like the the odious little shit he actually is. Go, come down here. Let's get this done. Let's get this done once and for all. I'm putting this in because we need some kind of climactic showdown. Come, come on, climactic moment. Get the fuck back here, Bowser. We need some kind of climactic moment at the end of this Let's Play. Because, you know, the Dreadnought Galaxy, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. That is the galaxy that took me the longest, I feel. I, I might have ended off with something like... Uh, that's a good question. I might have ended off with something like the... Boulder Geist, Daredevil, or what was the other one? There's a bunch of stars that I have had trouble with, it, yeah, that I have had trouble with in the past with in this game or whatever. I don't know. Grammar's difficult. I'm fighting a giant lizard. What are you doing right now? Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll just be hit very hard. I'm fine with that. Come land here. Why won't you land here? Why won't you? Why won't you acknowledge our love, Bowser? Whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Just get this done. He's he's got these arms out. He's ready for a fight. Or oh, that we might have been ready for a hug. I don't know. But I burnt his tail again. Okay. I need to go, like over here. And no, over here. Fantastic. This will be the end. That's good. Not sure how much of the upcoming stuff I should skip or indeed can skip. But that is the end for the second time. The end of the LP, basically, I there is bonus stuff at the end. There is at least one uh, storybook thing I would like to read. Can I skip? I can't skip any of this! I could skip the thing with Rosalina being, being awesome, but I can't skip this, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I can skip. I can, you know why I can't skip it. I know why we can't skip it. We're going to get the now transparent Grand Star, I imagine. Is it transparent? It is indeed transparent! I didn't even need to show off what... Accidentally, I showed it off accidentally, really. I didn't even have to show off what happens when you recollect a star. You get a, you know, a clear star. I do like the effect. You can see Mario's upside down head. I don't know what, I'm not sure what that was, but we're going to collect it anyway. Okay, fantastic. 122, because those transparent stars count, hopefully. Maybe an easier way of getting to 240, I, I do feel. You know, for the completion junkie, the going through the whole game and getting all the stars, that is one thing. Going through the whole game and getting them again with a different character, that is kind of like bullshit. And I I like it because it means I get to play this game again. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it here because that takes way too long. I can't skip this cutscene. Oh, maybe I'll just meet you at the credits or something. I'm awake! I'm awake! I wasn't sleeping. I was just... I was just... No, no, I was doing nothing. This There's no... There's no moment in those last cutscenes after Bowser, you know, nothing, there's no point where you can skip them. And that is slightly annoying. I'm not going to complain about it too much because the game's fantastic other than that. I have talked about this game once already. Can I skip the credits? I kind of don't want to because I would like to talk about my own personal things. What I've tried to do, uh, the, I always wanted to play this game on this channel. Ever since I stopped Sunshine, I wanted to do another Mario game because 3D Mario games have that wonderful, all-encompassing power to just be really easy and also really fun. So it's a very easy game to play and it's a very easy game to record. There's not a lot of voicing. I don't have to do a lot of voicing even easy with Sunshine because that does most of the voicing for you. So, you know, it, it's very, very nice that way. And it's, you can just, it's a good sign of progress. The fact that you can get five stars in an episode. Wow, fantastic. You can get six stars. You feel even better. And so you get a natural progression and you, you, you feel like you're 
doing something. Feel like you're going somewhere and, and fighting through the game. Not really fighting through it, it's it's a reasonably safe passage. And if I must say something, my, my thoughts on the Let's Play, and I'm gonna say this now, um, about the highlights. I, I will need highlights, I do plan to make a highlight. Last Mario game I didn't, that was Super Mario World, but that was around the time when I was moving house and I, I basically forgot to do it and, and the time past without me really making one and I, you know, I do kind of regret that. But uh, that was a short Let's Play, so I feel like I almost have an excuse for that one. I would like to make a highlights video. What has been your favorite moment from the Let's Play? Once again, a uh, huge thanks to Awfulus. I think I've got your name right now. I don't know who, who posts like um, timestamp code uh, highlights all the way through every single episode in the in the whole uh, project, so I thank you for that. It's going to be a, a very easy thing to actually go back and collect them from there. Because, you know, I had a great time, but I had a, like a consistent great time. There were some really great moments where I did stars that I had I no, not a chance of doing in my first try. The, the really weird one is the Dreadnought Galaxy. My headphones are actually kind of staticking up or something, so I having to take them out periodically and not able to listen to this amazing credits theme at the end, because, you know, it's kind of hurting my ears. You can see Luigi in the bottom left. Very early on, I, I see what you're doing, game. I know what you're doing. Luigi in the top left, have these changed? Now we've got 120. That's a that's a question that, that does need asking. We are going to show off the cutscene which says, Luigi time, or whatever it is. I don't really give a shit. Um, <laughs> not really. Isn't there... I think there's at least two stars we can do for doing this. I, or maybe not two stars, but like a star and maybe a cutscene. I, I don't know. May, I'm not sure how we can do the cutscene, but we're going to leave that till next episode. As for what's next for me personally, what's going to happen is uh, Twilight Princess is going to be moved to every... Uh, every day which this was at. This is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I'm pretty sure, if I, unless I've got it the other way around. Twilight Princess is going to go to those slots, which are my usual Let's Play slots. It does mean that I, I am only playing one game on the channel now. There is going to be a bonus episode, at least, but it does mean I'm only playing one game on the channel. That is, you know, this was basically an experiment to see if I could do two games at the same time, and I feel like... I can, you know, it's not that difficult, it's not that difficult to, to play the games, to edit the games, to upload them in a nice, uh, quick and cohesive and, you know, a very, a very easy manner to do that. The problem is, sort of general workload is increased quite a bit by doing another game, Satoru Wata, I pronounced your name correctly this time, and he is generally pretty incredible. So, Super Mario Galaxy for not quite the last time. I'm gonna need the cutscene at the end saying Luigi Tam or whatever the fuck it is, cause uh yeah. We done. Thank you so much for playing my game. You know, gonna keep saying you know I've, the game just throws voice acting my way for no reason. Okay. What are we doing now? Uh we come into this. Is this the cutscene I want? Maybe this is the cutscene I want. I don't know. Maybe it is. I was gonna save this till the next episode, but if this is what I need, then this is what I need. Is this voice acted? I'm not sure, because the game never tells me in 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 due time. I don't know. Good music though. Maybe I'll turn it up a little bit for this. Do like this song quite a lot. It's a very simple piano Thank song. And... Yep. Okay, I will watch over you from beyond the stars. It's very inconsistent. I don't know what she's gonna say. I think that was it. I, yeah, this is a very good song. It is just a simple rendition of, I think, the Comet Observatory thing, but hits home. It's called Family. Yeah. It's kind of a simple cutscene in the end, but this is your, this is your immediate reward for getting 120 stars. Is to watch a, a, a kind of a nothing cutscene, but I like the music. I'll take the music away at least. Very, very relaxing. I forget what she's doing, but she's doing something. Is she, is she, is she leaving? She might be leaving. Where are we going, Rosalina? No. Don't leave the gate behind. Where, did, where were you hiding that observatory? How do you do it? Where are we going? I don't know. But whenever someone lands on that planet for some reason, what is that? I don't know. But whenever someone lands on that planet again for some reason, it's a Luma. Hello, Luma. Give give the camera a wave. Beautiful. Fantastic. Nice, nice work. That looks like the toad ship. 
Of like a ruined grass version. Super Luigi Galaxy. Super Luigi Galaxy. That's what I wanted to hear. Uh 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 no. Uh uh uh. Back. I I need to save. I do need to save because otherwise I'll have to do all that crazy shit again. Don't want to do that. Oh, I'd rather have the potential problem with my recording than do that again. But anyway, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. And in the next episode, weirdly, because there is another episode to come, it's not quite the finale. It's going to say the finale, but there's one more to come where I show off bonus shit. I'm going to show off Luigi, uh, sort of, kind of, not for my very long. We're not going to do a lot with Luigi. There's also the storybook in the library to play with. And I think there's also one extra level, which is just for the when when you get 241 stars there there is still quite a little bit to do but not really all that much thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one take care